Well, we're going to turn now to the latest on the search for the missing Malaysia Airlines flight. Chinese planes spotting three objects in the new search area overnight, raising hopes that they could be from Flight 370. ABC's David Wright is in Perth, Australia with the latest. Good morning, David. Morning, Biana. That's the latest of several objects spotted in the past 24 hours. Promising signs, but we're still waiting for confirmation whether they are indeed debris from Flight 370. Australian maritime authorities have had very little to say today, clearly not wanting to raise people's hopes. Today, a Chinese search plane reported spotting three brightly colored objects. The colors red, white, and orange. Out on the open water, cautious optimism among the searchers because of objects like this one spotted by some of the planes. Uh, very busy day. You see the number of objects that we saw out there is certainly unusual. The spotters on board the search planes have seen objects before, but never have they managed to get clear pictures or have another plane find those same objects again. Finally, the details seem to be lining up. Obviously, we don't know if these are associated with the aircraft yet. We could be on something here. In order to determine conclusively if any of this debris is from Flight 370, a ship will have to retrieve it from the water. China's largest research vessel has been in the search area all day. Five more ships should be arriving on the scene about now. The first one to spot anything significant Friday, this New Zealand P-3 Orion. On Friday, half the planes over the search grid spotted debris of some sort, the most promising day yet. Astonishingly, nearly three weeks after the crash, Malaysian authorities said today they have not ruled out the possibility of finding survivors. No matter how remote, hope against hope, please, we will continue to find survivors. The search area now focused on a previously unsearched stretch of sea the size of Virginia, nearly 700 miles away from the location of those satellite photos they chased for most of the week. Is it out there? We may know soon, but getting it back won't be easy. It's in a very rough part of the ocean. Uh, the, the sea state will always be very rough. It would truly be a miracle if they found survivors here. Even once they confirm debris on the water may come from Flight 370, there's still the job of finding the heavy wreckage lying on the ocean floor, 12,000 feet down. It could be weeks or months before we retrieve those black boxes and finally get answers. Dan? If ever, so much work left to be done. David Wright, thank you. Let's bring in ABC News aviation consultant Colonel Steve Ganyard in Washington this morning. Steve, good morning. I, I just can't get over those comments from the Malaysian government official overnight about how they're continuing to search for survivors. He also said miracles do happen. Is this a responsible message to be sending given that they've already said that the, the plane is gone? Dan, I, I don't think it is. I, I think it's an unfortunate comment. I think it's somebody who's thinking with their heart and not with their head. And it's just not fair to these families to, to continue to say that there's reason to hold out hope. We really know nothing more than we did in just days after the mishap. We're in, in essence, we're at day one on this, on this search. But this is where people, their, their emotions get the better of them. Really, the only thing they can do now is continue to search, put the emotions at bay, and continue to use the scientific methods that they have and do their best to, to find something that will give us some answers about this mishap. Steve Ganyard, we appreciate your analysis once again this morning and throughout this coverage. We do appreciate it. Thank you.